Hi, it's Eric with NPTI, and we're on our third part of our series on calculating out power output. Now we have some measurements we need to go over, and we want to keep track of for future reference. We want to know the width of our client's hands. With this particular time, we're going at 17 and a half inches. The width of his feet, which is always a constant, of 12 and a half inches. We also are going to measure the distance from the bar to the floor, which we figured out at eight and a half inches. Um, we also had our client perform the exercise, and the distance that the bar will travel is 29 and a half inches. We will subtract the distance of the bar to the floor from that calculation, where we had 21. And we remember, we need the distance up as well as down. We multiply that times two, where we have 42 inches. Perfect. So let's go check and make sure our client sets up accordingly. The first one we're going to measure is his hands. His hands should be at 17 and a half inches apart, which again is a constant. Okay, his hands are perfect at 17 and a half. The second measurement, as I said, is the feet width, and again is a constant. They should measure out at 12 and a half inches. So from the inside of the foot to the inside of the foot, feet are a little bit wide, bring your foot in. Perfect, 12 and a half inches. With our next part, we'll show our client actually performing the exercise. 